Welcome to the FBTV feature game. I'm Darren Lutton. We're at Cornubia Park for the Brisbane Women's Premier League Grand Final between Logan Lightning and Anneli FC. Logan have been the surprise leaders all season, but they only finished two points ahead of Anneli. This game is sure to have plenty of fireworks. Let's get straight to the action. Just about underway in the 2015 Brisbane Women's Premier League Grand Final. Logan Lightning are making their first attempt at the Brisbane Women's Premier League after some great recent form in the City League competitions. Annalee of course are seasoned professionals in the top flights of Football Brisbane's competition and just recently have won the Elaine Watson Cup so they're in trophy winning form. This should be a great match. The last time these two teams played, it was a 1-0 win to the host slogan. This is Sims. Walker knocks the ball out for a throw. Free kick to Annerley. This should be easy enough for Anderson. He collects. Corner for Annerley. Not cleared. Deegan! Narrowly wide. Annalie are making all the running so far, but here's a rare opportunity for Logan to come forward. This is Petterwood, the golden boot winner. Creates a yard of space. Not collected. Chance for four, sure. The Annalie defence get there in numbers. Goal kick wasn't the cleanest attempt. Here's Sims! Just over the top. It's a strong attempt from Sims. Anderson didn't get close. This is Petterwood again taking on the defence. Creating another opportunity. It's a corner. It must be very close to half time. The corner's taken. Sent in. Goal! Logan take the lead on the stroke of half time. It's Zoe Howlett with the opening goal. As we can see, the corner clears the pack. Vivas lobs the ball in. And Howlett, who's just in front of Leyland, gets the touch, dinks the ball past. And the Premiers have the lead. As we can see again on the Pack Fire Australia GoPro replay. Well, Logan have had a great day so far. They've hosted four finals and they're currently leading all four of them. What can Annalie do in the second half? It's half time in the Brisbane Women's Premier League Grand Final and Logan Lightning have taken the opportunity today to raise awareness. We've got a white ribbon campaign. Tell us all about it, Cole. Uh, today's to make a statement, uh, enough's enough for domestic violence. And uh, we thought with our women's culture and women's theme um, here today at uh, Canubia Park, it'd be a perfect opportunity to, uh, to raise awareness and at the same time make some donations. We've got Chu Hing here from White Ribbon Australia. Tell us about, uh, about the organisation. Well, White Ribbon's been established since 2013 and it's a national organisation that is aimed to uh, prevent domestic violence against women. And we actually uh, prevent domestic violence uh, through education, uh, such as our schools program uh, and also the workplace program and, of course, our national media campaign as well too. So it's great to see people like Cole and also the Logan Lightning here today organising this brilliant event. In a matter of fact, this event here in Logan is actually the largest event that we've had in White Ribbon in this whole region. And what's the message of the organisation? Oh look, enough is enough about domestic violence. It's time for men to act. It's also time for the community to get behind and prevent domestic violence. So it's a gold donation this evening for a white ribbon. Let's get to the second half. Underway in the second half now. We're looking for a little bit more adventure from both teams. The first half was pretty cagey, it needs to be said. And here's a chance for Burleson. Scrambled away by the Logan defence. It's a corner for Annalie. Annalie committing numbers forward. And goal! Deegan scores! It's 1-1 in the 51st minute. Kate Deegan rises like a salmon. Let's check this again on the replay. 
Fantastic leap, higher than any other player. With good technique, heads the ball down. Let's see this on the Pack Fire Australia GoPro replay. Between Anderson's legs. And it's Logan 1, Annalee 1. Another corner for Annalee. What can they make of this one? It's a goal! Deegan again! Oh, the referee's called it back. It's a free kick to Logan. Let's check this again on the replay. Yeah, it looks like hands on Forshaw's shoulders. Obstruction. That's a free kick. Pedderwood trying to get back into this contest. Trying to have an impact on the game. This is Vivas. To Pedderwood. It's a weak shot. Will we see some late drama? It's looking like extra time at this stage. Oh, there's a free kick from Bratton on Burleson. Annalee with a golden opportunity here. This is Sims. Sends the ball out on the street. Pedderwood dispossessed. Burleson. Brought down by Bratton. And she'll get a yellow card for her trouble. Attacking opportunity for Annalee. Ball launched forward. Laura Blue has a chance. Has a chance! She scored! Laura Blue puts Annalee ahead. There's not long left on the clock. And what an acute angle to score from. Let's check this again on the replay. She turns Johnson inside out, which creates the art of space. And that's the tightest of tight angles. Anderson can only get the slightest of touches. And Annalie are in front. This is Smith trying to use up time. Clock's on their side now. Logan with a bit of desperation. Create the corner. Not collected. Goal! Adelie are going to be grand final winners. It's Madison Raitano. The corner comes in. Deegan with another imperious header. And Raytano, Johnny on the spot. Collects the rebound. And Annalee, this year's grand final winners. There's not enough time left on the clock. It's out for a throw. There it is, full time. Annalee, three. Logan Lightning, one. Let's head down to the presentations. First and foremost, um, my hat goes off to you guys. We came down here six months ago, second round of the season, and you guys absolutely hammered us. And I remember going back into those sheds and thinking, damn, we've got to work hard. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you the uh, women's BPL. Hi, right, Jimmy, commiserations. What were your thoughts on the game? Um, my thoughts, Annalie played superb. I thought we didn't have one of our best games. Um, I think we turned the ball over way too much, but full credit to Annalie. They uh, come out, they wanted it more, they held onto the ball more, and they took their chances, and that's what football's about. You scored a goal right on half-time. It must have been a good feeling in the dressing sheds at, at, at the break. Yeah, it was a good feeling, but we knew we could play better. Um, tweaked a couple of things half-time. Hopefully that sparked us in the second half, but 
it didn't seem to happen. So um, Annalie just came over the top of us. And tell us about your journey with this side. You, you came, came down one night to, to fill in, take them for a session or two, and you end up taking over the side. Yeah, well, the club asked me to come help them out in pre-season with the team, and it um, wasn't until about January, late January, that I, they asked me to take on the role, and um, I was already doing the 18s, and I took two teams, which means four nights of training, so it was a big commitment, but in the end, I'm glad. We won, we won the league, uh, first year being in it, so it was... Uh, great achievement for the club and um, hopefully we build from this and we build on to next year and hopefully we're better next year. Anyone you'd like to thank? I'd just like to thank the club. They got uh, right behind us. I'd like to thank Anno and the rest of the coaching staff and lastly the players. They've been superb all year. Congratulations Anthony. 2015 Grand Final winners. Tell us what's uh, going through your head right now. I just couldn't be more proud of the girls. I thought, I thought we played exceptionally well for pretty much a full 90 minutes. Um, oh, credit to Logan. Uh, they're a fantastic team, but I, I truly believe we deserve that today. Um, the quality of football that was played was phenomenal. Um, and we managed to hold out Logan, who are an extremely strong attacking side. So that's that's fantastic effort as well. And to win 3-1, um, brilliant. Very happy. How was the dressing room at half time? You got that hammer blow uh, right on the break. Yeah, they scored, um, I think it was a minute after or 45 seconds after the 45 minutes was up. Um, the girls we were actually quite upbeat. Um, we thought we had a, quite a strong first half. We just worked on a few minor tactical changes and the girls sucked to the game plan and I thought we dominated that second half and uh, all the hard work and all those little changes at half time came to fruition um, with a strong finish to give us a 3-1 win. Pre-season favourites and you brought it home. Yes, yes, we were apparently the pre-season favourites, but um, like I said, this is, a, this is a brand new team. I think we've only got five girls who were here from last year. Um, but having said that, they've worked hard um, and we're very, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Celebrations tonight? Yeah, just a few drinks tonight, I think. Should be good. Anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah, I just want to thank um, Annalie, the club. Uh, great support of women's program in Annalie. Uh, the girls, they're phenomenal. Absolute pleasure to coach them. Quality team, they trust me. Um, I trust them just as much and it came to fruition tonight. Um, I want to thank Logan for putting it on tonight. Fantastic crowd, fantastic venue. The pitch was quite, quite good tonight. Um, bit of talk about it not being amazing, but I thought it was held up quite well. Um, thank you to Logan themselves, their team. Premiers, uh, premiers throughout the year and I think they deserve that. Um, first year in Premier League, they should, they should be very proud of themselves.